You are now listening to the sounds of Mood Swing Music Group. Hey yo, what's up man? Welcome back to the channel and today what we gonna do man, we gonna get into two new features from Machine 2.15 man. The first feature is gonna be the automatic backup. So let's look at that really quick. You can go in here, go to file, go down to preferences and then under general, you got it right here. Let me make sure you can see that. You got it right here, automatic backup, and you just wanna make sure that's highlighted. Once you get that highlighted, it's doing an automatic backup on everything that you're doing in machine, keeping up with all of your files and stuff, man, so you don't lose none in case you uh, lose power or something like that in your studio, or in case for some odd reason your uh, computer crashed all of a sudden or something like that, which we don't want to happen, but it happens. So yeah, man, go into the preferences under general, and set up your automatic backup and you should be good the next thing we gonna look at man is the auto sampler and i kind of like this auto sampler man it's kind of it's a it's a dope little uh addition to machine so what we gonna do the auto sample allows you to sample from external stereo external mono or internal what we gonna do today we gonna do internal which means we can auto sample a VST of our choice. So what I'll do, let's go to contact. Let's go to Scarby. Pick the very first one. So that's Scarby, and that's called Blue Ballot, and we'll go with that one, that's fine. So what we'll do now, we can close that out, and as you can see, we got contact on sound one. Then we wanna go to sound two, and then we wanna go to the little wave file over here, like, we, like as if we was gonna sample something. And then when you get under here, you don't see anything that say auto sampler. So what you wanna do is go to recording, you wanna go to sync, and you want to pick auto and once you pick auto it opens up all of these parameters for recording input note map velocity map batch process so what we do for the sake of this video man is keep it real simple we got it on auto these this right here is seconds and what you want to do with these man how long you want the sample to be uh, how long like say for instance your sample got a little tail on it or after effect how long of an after effect you want it to pick up in that sample you can set those parameters there but i won't show you exactly how to do that because i don't really like showing you guys exactly how i do it because then you just mimic what i'm doing instead of learning on your own and creating new stuff for yourself so get in there and play with that you're gonna hear me say that a lot so go under input next and then what we want to do you can click right here and as you can see you got external stereo external mono i would use this external stereo for like like in a later video i might do something with this elise's qs 6.1 synthesizer right here man where i just pull some sounds because it got some beautiful pianos and stuff on it that i don't have in logic or machine so I can, I'm hoping that I can hook it up and pull those pianos from that QS 6.1 Elises and drop them into my machine and be able to use them. But uh, that's a later video because I'm definitely going to be working on that. You got external mono and then you got internal. We're going to go with internal today. And then what you want to do is figure out what you want to do is not figure out, but you want to tell it where you want the input coming from. So you want to click click right here where it says none and you're going to choose a1 group a group a1 contact that's what we got right here in a1 group a1 right contact so that's what we're going to pick boom if you had six different sounds right there you would pick the sound of the vst that you would want to do your sample from stride we'll get into that later but you can also play around with that learn more about it it's going to do some different things with your note mapping and stuff 
what we want to do is go to key low key high <clears throat> excuse me and what we're going to do right here we'll leave key low at c3 and you know what actually we can leave key high at b3 we'll do 12 notes for anybody that understands the keyboard that's it's going to be 12 notes uh, let's go. We can leave extend on, stride again under velocity map. That's something else that you could sit down and, and change the number of and actually come up with some different stuff. Velocity, I'm going to leave at 100. You can put it at 127. You can put it at 110 and 127. It's going to create samples at those different velocities. So you can create a lot more samples at different velocities and and sometimes if you choose some of these numbers wrong you can end up with a lot of samples so i don't want to really mess with that then uh under batch process you got fine loop i'm thinking that's something that i would use if i was pulling from the, one of these external synthesizers i'm gonna play with that later but i just want to make sure that normalize is off right here and then once we got that set up man we uh pretty much ready to do our sampling so what i'm gonna do right here instead of watching it go through all 12 samples i'm gonna speed it up and uh i'll be back after we get through uh sampling contact on sound two And as you can see, man, it did all 12 samples. And then what it'll do, it'll automatically go to the zone and show you the zone of the samples that you just uh, sampled in there. So we went from C3 all the way to B3. And basically, here's what they sound like. So if you want to play them, man, it's just, you know what I'm saying? You can play them like that. You can go into your scales mode and you can harmonize them and you can. You can harmonize them in your scale mode. Uh, what else can you do? I mean, you can just use them how you want to use them. And basically they're samples. So you can uh, mute this now because you basically no longer need it and what you want to do with this man there's several things you could do with it what i've been doing with it i've been taking it and putting it on a thumb drive and actually putting it into my mpc 4000 so that i can use some of the filter effects and stuff into in the mpc 4000 i've been using sounds from massive x and dropping them in the MPC 4000 and chopping them up and putting some what I call dirt on them, making them have like this really slick analog sound. So those are some things you can do with it. One of the main things you can do with it, if you're one of the guys with the, uh, I think this would be a great, great, great integration for Machine Plus. I'm not a Machine Plus owner, but what I understand is that it's standalone, right? And what did I just say? I'm using it in my standalone equipment. So I think personally for the guys who got Machine Plus, this is a great asset for Machine Plus using a standalone piece of equipment because it works great with my MPC 4000 and my 2000 Excel. Uh, another application is I go to the studio a lot, so I would take some of these sounds and use the auto sampler so that I can drop them onto a thumb drive and use them with a laptop. So sometimes I go to the studio with my, my controller and a laptop, and I could take my controller and a laptop and my laptops that don't have all of the bells and whistles when it comes to all of the plugins and VSTs and stuff because I'm trying to save space on them I can really take those sounds load them on there use them in machine and actually get work done 
in machine in the studio kind of standalone away from I call it standalone because it's outside of my studio anything that's in my studio I'm never standalone I think everything I got everything integrated together but like when I leave home I don't have the luxury of having everything that my iMac have on it or my uh, external hard drives per se so I can take those sounds and use them and be, and ha- be able to manipulate them with my laptop in the studio on my MPC 4000 on my MPC 2000 XL and also most importantly with your uh, machine plus so those are some of the things you can do with it so yeah next man what we can do we can uh, go in here and we'll rename it and just for the sake of the video we'll name it test So we named it test and then what you want to do if you want to save it so that you can do it on a thumb drive like I was saying, you go here and you want to save with samples and right here, man, you want to save with samples and uh, you want to go in right here and you want to tell it, boom, test, you want to tell it where to save, we're going to choose sounds and we're going to go save, boom. It's saying it already exists because I must have already made one with that. So let's just say replace. I'm in using this. I probably already made one with the name test so that I know not to keep it. So I named it test. And basically, let's do that again. I come in here. It asked me what I want to name it as. Let's do this. Let's make it test one so you can see what it really looked like. Test one where saving sounds save and then it's gonna add you're gonna have to save it again so you was just that last box you was just telling it what the name of it is where you want to save it and this is the directory right here and then you want to hit save once you hit save boom you actually saved it to your computer under sounds now if i want to open it up i go i can right click right here next to group a1 and go open and I can go under sounds and there you go test one sample test one sample test one boom here's all the notes that we did C3 to B3 velocity 100 so man that's pretty much it man get in there man play with it play around with it get familiar with it tweak those those different parameters and, and come up with different stuff uh Pay close attention. Make sure it ain't trying to do something like sample 150 notes. You'll be sitting there forever trying to get through all of that. You don't want to. I don't think you want to do nothing that extensive because it's gonna get kind of crazy. But uh, yeah, man, get in there, man. This is Machine 2.15. It's the auto sampler and it's the automatic backup features, man. Both two great features. Get in there. Do what you're doing. For all my beginners, these videos are for my beginners. This is to make better beginner music makers. Get in here, mess with this stuff. Don't be scared. Handle your business. Like I always say, man, don't just be a producer. Be productive. Be in the studio working on something. When I first found this feature, the first thing I thought about was my MPC 4000. I didn't think about Machine. I didn't think about Machine Plus. I thought about older equipment that I could take these sounds and filter them through and really start making some new stuff. So, and I got some, I got some fire too. Matter of fact, the track that that's playing on this video was made with the auto sampler and the MPC 4000. So like, share, comment, subscribe. Like I always say, man, don't just be a producer, be productive. Peace.